Hey everybody, Susan Gervick here from Psychics Explained. Uh, we're looking at video four. This is a small reading uh, done by John Benner, who is a Facebook medium. He is someone who for $7 will give you your love life, um, energy readings. Um, I believe he'll speak to the dead, your dead family members for 20, 20 to $22. The more money you give him, the more in depth he will get. I saw that posted on, on one of his videos. I think what we're watching is a video from January 7th, 2024. I'm recording this on January 26th, 2024. I ask for people to give me um, people to look into and I like it if you tell me here's the video at this starts at this time that's I think what you should look at so I'm watching this video I've never seen it before it's my first time watching it um, what it is is a energy reading or love life reading for Patricia and so John does this thing with the tarot cards. He talks to the tarot cards and he, he shuffles them a bunch of times and then he gets, tells you whatever he's going to tell you. So take notes, get your pencil and your paper and let's get some readings, notes done. I want to see what you guys write down and I will see you after this video. Call your... Hopefully the next reading comes up right away. I think this is where it's supposed to start. I have it turned on real-time comments. So as the comments come in, we should be getting... Uh, you'll see them here in the right-hand corner as I scroll down. I see a lot of community in here, too. People are showing up the same, you know, often. Multiple days. And that community is really important with these kinds of things. And no looking these people up. They got enough problems. Don't need to be dealing with us. Patricia, oh, there she is. Three months of love relationship, currently single. Any updates? Okay. This worn out Angels, tarot please cards. Give Patricia, a clear, concise message through this deck of cards about her love life over the next three months January, February, March, and I thank you. How many shuffles do you roll? Five. One. Three, four, five. January, February, March, love life looks really good. Well, I'm seeing here in January that you're, the magic's going to be in your life in your love life that is and i feel that you're whatever you need to be a success this month in your love life it's going to manifest and become a huge success and then when you come into february i feel that that success you're going to need to gain a balance over that success because i feel that you are going to be really standing up for what you believe in with just that you're going to be standing up for it you're going to really need to find balance with it and then when we go into uh when we go into March, I feel that um, I feel that it's almost like you're going to be shining your light out to other people in your love life. I feel that uh, you're going to be doing some self-discovery in your love life, trying to figure out what it is you truly want out of it. Did you have any other questions?
see in late late November. The angels, please give Patricia Wu a clear, precise message to a second deck of cards. The guy that she met in November, last of November, has he lost feelings for her? One, two, and three. I feel that he has. I feel that a new opportunity came into his life. And once this happened, I feel that he lied to you about this. That's so, yes. I feel that he lost interest. I can't even imagine you guys. <laughs> this is your how you get your love life. Uh, <laughs> your your valuable um, information about your love life is from this guy. But to each his own. Do you have any other questions? Brendan. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Patricia. The angels, please give Patricia a clear, concise message through a stack of cards. What I feel with this one, so I feel he has feelings for you, but he's confused about these feelings. He's got the feelings there, but he's a little confused over them, if that makes sense. Uh, that's the best way I can describe it. So that another feel I'm getting from this is that yes, he's confused over the feelings, but he's he wants to move slowly because of that. I'm not seeing where he's, she's asking another question. This is odd, but okay. Maybe he's getting a private message or he's seeing something in a different time than I am. I don't know. But Patricia, last comment she had was about the guy in November and he's already answered that question. Oh, will I meet somebody else in three months? Well, she's getting her money's worth, her $7 worth of, uh, she already, didn't he already say she's going to have, Shining her life out the there in the next three months. Patricia, a clear, concise message through this deck of cards. Will a new romantic partner come into Patricia's life between now and the next 90 days? One, two, three, and four. No, unfortunately, see, I'm seeing a very low potential of that happening. But what about her, her shining her life out there in the next three months? Poor Patricia. Well, I didn't take very many notes. That was pretty bland. It was a kind of typical reading of that you could have gotten out of like the back out of a Cracker Jack box. Remember those? So this was Patricia, her love life in the next three months was going to be successful, shining your life out there.
And it kind of went all over the place and got to a point where um, she finally tells him, well, I met this guy in November. Was he, I, I really liked him, but now I don't think he's really kind of into me anymore. What do you think? And so he does his tarot card shuffle or whatever. And he comes back and he says, yeah, I think he met somebody else. He lied to you. And it's not looking so good the next three months. Wah, wah, wah. You know, I, I don't get your love life information from these guys. Don't get your advice from them. Go talk to your girlfriends. They will tell you what's up. They'll tell you. And I think that whenever you say stuff like this, like the next three months aren't going to be good for you. Well, is the person likely to go out and go to parties and go do things and flirt with people or take advantage of the situations that are given to her in the next three months? Or is she going to say, yeah, I guess I'm going to stay home and watch movies and hang around and sit here and watch more of John Benner's videos on Facebook until my three months is up. And then I'll get another $7 reading and let's see how it goes. But yeah, I don't think these things are really helpful to people because even if he was very motivated and he said, oh my gosh, you're going to meet the love of your life coming up here in March. I don't think that's helpful either because she may actually meet somebody in March who looks good and he's awful. And she may just say, oh, this must be the guy Benner was talking about because he's it's March and he did promise I'd meet somebody amazing in March. And yeah, I'm getting the hair sticking up on the back of my neck and he doesn't quite look like the right person. But Benner said it, it's March and it is almost the last of March. It must be the guy. And then you end up getting into a relationship with somebody based on the advice of this psychic medium. And it wasn't really good advice. I, I I don't find any of this helpful. I don't I don't think it's helpful for people. Go to your girlfriends or go to your best friends and and ask them, you know, what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? I'm really trying to meet somebody. Introduce me around. Do you have somebody you can set me up with? Or, you know, working on yourself and get to where you love yourself and maybe you don't need that part person in your life or it might happen later. I don't know. Don't take your advice from some random person on YouTube. Even, even me. <laughs> My point is, there may not be an answer. And seeing the future is not really helpful. Those are just pieces of paper. They're just pieces of paper. There's There's nothing there. They're just paper with pretty pictures on them that are shuffled up and then out of the top of his head he says whatever and it's like a horoscope or a fortune cookie and you open it up and it says something and it sounds profound and it's all up to you are you going to go in and sit around and watch um old movies and uh facebook with this guy because you think the next three months are a waste or are you going to go out and do something if you really want to make a love connection you might have to get off the couch and get moving go 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 to a party go to the movies go to dinner with your friends do something meet people that's usually how it works anyway my gosh like i said don't take a lot of advice from me either i want to see what you guys wrote down in your papers put them in the comments under this video i'm looking forward to reading them already my psychic powers tell me that i'm getting a really good answer from you yeah prove me right thanks all